Hi, I'm Jason McAteer, and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. This is a Red Men TV special where I'm here to pick my top three EPL players right now. Um, so we're doing this in conjunction with Ball Street, our friends over at Ball Street. We're doing a big deadline day social club show over there. We've got all the fan channels involved and we'll be giving loads of stuff away uh, throughout the day. Loads of competitions, completely free to enter and stuff. And this is sort of to kick that off. Um, so what I'm asking you guys to do is head over to the Ball Street YouTube channel, find the video uh, where we pick our Premier League top three and leave your top three players in the video comments. Um, and if Redmen TV have sent yet, just type Redmen TV after your top three as well. You can be in with a chance of winning the Premier League shirt of your choice which is obviously going to be a Liverpool top, we all know that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the competition mechanic, it's dead simple, head over, subscribe to Ball Street and leave a comment in that video there. But for now, I'm going to give you my top three players. Um, I'm going to start off with someone that I've admired for a long time now, going back to when he was at Atletico Madrid, um, Sergio Aguero. For me, it doesn't matter that he's, he's injured a lot and stuff like that. When he's playing, and he's playing now, he, for me, is the best player in the Premier League. Uh, I don't think you need to expand on that too much more. He is just so dynamic. He's a finisher. He can get your goals out of nothing. It's everything that I love in a centre-forward. And as a sort of Atletico Madrid fan, going back to probably the early 2000s in the Spanish League, um, he and Torres were like the players when they started to come through that I really enjoyed watching. So when he moved to Man City, I was a little bit gutted that we never signed him. But he's torn the league apart and I just love watching him play football. Second player is a player that last season I, I would never have been involved in this, but this year Meza Ozil has just been sensational, hasn't he? I mean, the amount of assists he's got, I think it's 16 assists, three goals in the Premier League, and he's just been outstanding and he just he makes Arsenal tick and he's such a lovely player to watch play the game. He's not the quickest, he's not the strongest, although the strength side, I think he's definitely improved this season. But it's his eye for a pass, man. I mean, if I was aspiring to be a footballer, Meza Ozil, because I'm not fast, we can see that, is the type of player that I would want to be. I would never be like that. I would be your John Flanagan, just tries really hard, but he's the type of player that I would aspire to be, so Meza Ozil goes in there. And a bit of a random one for my third choice, actually, it's Kante from Leicester, you know, signed for £5.6 million from Cairn um, in the summer. Somebody that... Actually, Claudio Ranieri didn't want, believe it or not. Their scout, Steve Walsh, went to uh, Ranieri when he first joined the club and said, listen, I want to want to sign this guy here. They, they eventually had a little bit of back and forth. Claudio Ranieri wasn't really very keen on him, but they brought him in regardless. He trusted his, his head, of, head of scouting, Steve Walsh, and he watched him play in training and stuff. Apparently, Ranieri then went back to Steve Walsh and I quote, said, don't ever li listen to me again. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's after he'd seen Kante play. And the guy has just been sensational. Leicester at the top of the table at the moment, looking like one of the most attacking free-flowing sides that I've seen in the Premier League for a long time. Hey since 13-14 Liverpool, of course. Um, 92 interceptions for the man that um, is nicknamed The Rash because he's always all over people. He doesn't let them ever have an easy pass and stuff like that. And it's a player that I just love to watch. It's a player that I think would fit really well into the Liverpool side. He's not the biggest, he's not the most physical of players, but he's so quick and he just doesn't let anybody rest for a second. So there's my top three. Leave your top three, as I said, on the Ball Street channel, uh, on the video. Um, if you go on Twitter, use the hashtag EPL Top 3 as well, and uh, hopefully I'll see you over there, and if not, I'll definitely definitely see you on the Ball Street social, deadline day social. Anyway, Chris Pajak for the Redmen TV, signing off. And it's a bit of a it's a bit of a different slant on it. I think equally, uh, as, much as, Mara, no, <laughs> as much as Mara, no, as much as Mara's is important, and as much as Jamie Vardy is important, I've actually gone for Kante in the midfield.